practicing my clarinet all morning. And I really thought I was going to get in this time. I know marching band is competitive, especially for the hockey team. But I had a good feeling about it all morning. Fifth time's a charm, my mum said. Then that guy who wears all the jewellery, he stole my crutch. My mum said it was okay for me to practice my song outside since it wasn't raining and I was only playing marches. And he ran up to me from across the street. He was yelling something like, shut the hell up! Or something. And he knocked my stand over and grabbed one of my crutches. I tried to run after him, but I'm not very fast on one crutch. I didn't let him get my clarinet though. I had to toss it under the picnic table. And I think one of my keys got bent a little. But at least I saved it. Anyway, now I have to sort of hop and walk to get anywhere. I don't think I can make it to the gym on time with only one crutch. And since you have that crutch you used in fourth grade when you were tiny, Tim, I was wondering if maybe I could borrow it. I know you want it to stay in mint condition, but I won't mess it up. I'll have to bend over a little since it's a kiddie crutch. But my mum says I have a strong back. I don't mind. Hey, yeah, you're the reason my leg is broken anyway. You're the one who told me to jump off that truck so Taylor would see and fall in love with me. But since the truck was going at 30 miles an hour and you weren't supposed to be going that fast, just got this broken leg instead. The hospital did have a TV though. My mum and dad don't let me watch TV at home. I saw an entire season of Game of Thrones in one day. But Taylor didn't fall in love with me. And now we have to sort of hop and walk. So I don't care if you don't want fingerprints on your tiny Tim crutch. I think you owe me. This is my chance to get into the marching band and show Taylor I'm worth something. So give me your crutch or I'm going to tell your mum. 